let's talk about aqueous solutions of salts. Uh, really, here's the big, big thing I want you to take away. It's the neutral ions. So when we're doing acids and bases, if you can recognize a neutral ion of, oh, that floats in the water, but it doesn't change the pH, you can ignore it. It's just going to be a spectator ion. And you can get really, really fast at this, and it will save you some time as you're writing your chemical equations. Um, so here are the neutral ions, and here's the trick. It's going to be any ion that comes from a strong acid or a strong base. So here are my strong acids, seven strong acids that you need to have memorized, and here are your eight strong bases that you need to have um, memorized. So the hydrogen, of course, you know, heavy hitter, that's the whole reason that we have pH per hydrogen. But these seven strong acids, you know, they 100% break apart. They 100% ionize. And so you're going to have the hydrogen ion plus the other ion. Well, that other ion, when it's in water, it's not going to go back and um, create another covalent bond with the hydrogen. It will always stay completely ionized. That's why it's considered a neutral ion. It won't react with the hydrogen. Once it's in solution, 100% ionized definition of a strong acid. So you just have to have these four ions memorized. Um, so the iodine, bromide, nitrate, chloride, uh, chlorate, perchlorate, and sulfate. Um, if you have any of those from a salt that are put into water, they're not going to react with hydrogen. So, for example, let's say that I have a sodium nitrate, okay? I have a sodium nitrate, the, I, the salt, that I'm going to drop this in water. Um, salts, 100% um, ionize, uh, excuse me, dissociate. We use the word dissociate for salts, ionize for um, non, our uh, non-metals. These become ions. These are already ions, they just break apart. So dissociate salts, let me write that down. Your um, teacher will be um, impressed. We dissociate ionic compounds and we ionize. Ionize, ionize. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes my spelling on the board, I have to think. Um, and we ionize our covalent compounds. All right, um, now, as long as these are soluble, okay? As long as they're soluble, they're going to 100% dissociate. So this is going to break into an Na plus and an NO3 minus. <laughs> this is perfect. I look at those two and I think, okay, will they react with water? Will they react with water to um, change the pH? Will they react as an acid or a base? And the answer is no. Nitrate won't react with the water because it comes from a strong acid. It's not going to accept a hydrogen. Um, if it did accept a hydrogen, it just breaks apart again, ionizes back into H plus and NO3 minus. So this is neutral. It won't change at all. It won't change the pH of the solution. Sodium, guess what? That one won't change the pH of the solution either because it comes from a, right there, a strong base. Strong bases all 100% break apart. So when I have my sodium and hydroxide floating in the water, they will not come back together and react. This um, Na plus is not going to react with water to um, attract the, an OH, um, because even if it did, it would just break apart again, dissociate because it's a strong base. Um, so both of those from that sodium nitrate, big fat nothing on pH. They won't react with the water. They won't react with the water. Um, so as long as you have your seven strong um, acids, eight strong bases memorized, um, you know, let's see, this is going to be a total of 15 ions. There are your 15 neutral ions. Um, and it's because these will 100% break, break apart, 100% ionize, 100% dissociate. Means the same thing, which is technical. Becomes an ion, already is an ion. Um, now, all other ions. Okay, this is only 15 ions, right? So all other ions, you're asking, well, are they going to be an acid or a base? Um, I recommend that you go to the ionization constant table and really you're going to have to do initial final moles and then possibly ice tables. So you're either really doing um, Henderson Hasselbach or the ice table for the three step. And you can watch those videos, watch those videos. Um, <clears throat> let me show you an example. Now I've written the complete balanced chemical equation. I might have acetic acid, which you and I know that's a weak acid plus sodium hydroxide, oh, strong base right there, 
is going to produce sodium acetate plus water. Um, now, this is its own solution and that sodium hydroxide is its own solution. I had two different beakers. This beaker of acetic acid, so my vinegar, I know is partially ionized. It's weak and so maybe only 5% of that has ionized, broken to the H plus and um, the acetate ion. Now, this beaker right here with my sodium hydroxide, 100%. 100% that has dissociated and broken apart. So now when I pour these together, I'm thinking, well, what's going to happen? Um, the sodium, I know, will not change the pH. It's a neutral ion. Um, so I'm looking over here. What's going to form is a sodium acetate compound. That's a salt. So that's just going to 100% dissociate. And again, that sodium ion, big fat nothing. It's neutral. Now the acetate ion, that is a big deal. Um, that's going to come from a weak acid, is it the conjugate base, a weak conjugate base, it will react with water. And then of course I have water. So all of that being said and done, here's what I want you to do. Look at this, identify the neutral ions, and guess what, you don't even have to write them. This is a fast, fast way to do net ionic equations. And if you wanna watch that video, go to my playlist for, um, chemical reactions, and it will teach you how to fully write net ionic, complete ionic, net ionic equations. This is a shortcut. You know those neutral ions, you just don't write them. So we are going to have for our acid base, my weak acid plus that neutral ion, sodium, is not going to impact the pH. So I leave that off in equilibrium with CQH3O2 plus H2O. Now from here to know what the pH is, we're going to have to do initial final moles because that strong base will rip through this weak acid. All of this will react and we have to see what's left over. Once you see what's left over, you might be at the um, equivalence point, you might be at the halfway point. Um, you'll have to see if you do Henderson-Hasselbalch or if you do the three steps. Um, but as far as writing these equations, you're expected to know that those neutral ions, they're going to be spectators, they don't change the pH. So you can leave them off. You can leave them off and automatically write it this way. So when you have a salt, okay, when you have a salt in um, a solution, think back, is it, does the salt contain one of those 15 ions? If it does, you're not going to have to include it in the equation. Don't, don't even include it at all in the equation. Let me give you another example. Let's say that we're just going to create a solution, okay? Uh, let's say that we are going to put a sodium carbonate into water. So I take my sodium carbonate, okay? And I wanna know well, what's gonna be the pH of this? How do I write this? Um, so we are going to do, I, I look at this, I know that it will dissociate into my two sodium ions and my carbonate ion. So I looked at that and I say, are any of those uh, neutral? Yep, sodium. Sodium's not going to react with water. So when I drop this in the water, the only thing that will impact the pH, oh, that one, because that's not neutral. Only these 15 from the strong acid, strong base will be neutral. So when I write my chemical equation, I drop this salt in the water, the only thing that will react with water to change the pH, that carbonate. So this is how I write it. CO3 minus two plus my water, okay? Because I'm making a solution, put it in water. This is a base, it's going to accept a hydrogen. So this will be HCO3 minus, gained one hydrogen, so instead of minus two, it's minus one. Um, the water acted as the acid, it donated the hydrogen. So plus OH minus. And now we can just do a KB. Look at KB, do an ice table with the initial concentration and we can find the pH. Um, so you put a salt in water, uh, look for those spectator, or they will be spectator ions, the neutral ions that come from acids and bases, don't even write it down. The ion that's not neutral, that's the one that will react with water and produce, it will change the pH, it will produce a reaction with the water and it will impact the pH. Um, if you have an acid and a base that you're reacting, drop those spectator ions and the reaction will happen with everything that's not um, a neutral and anything that's not a neutral ion. Okay, good work. Have a nice day. Thank you.